we wish we had a clear button. So we can be drawing points. Hit the clear, all the points go away, we can go back and draw more, more points. So how are we going to go about adding this? So the first thing we need to do is add the button. If we look in our HTML file, so we previously had some buttons for red and green. All I've done is copy that down, make a new button right here for um, the clear. I'm not giving it the ID clear button, which we're going to need in a little bit. This clear is just the label on top of the button. So this is all we need in the HTML file. Of course, we need to hook this up. So we're going to go over to our uh, colored points JavaScript. And remember, we had a function for adding all the actions for our HTML UI so that we can keep them together and organized. So same thing. We used to have some things for handling our setting our color for our red and green. We're going to set this clear button up. And what we're going to have it do is we're going to have it just clear the G shapes list. So remember, our G shapes list was uh, defined down here. And we use it whenever we click a point. We push the new point onto the G shapes list. So if we want to get rid of all the points, all we have to do is clear that list. So we're not taking an action to explicitly clear the canvas. What we're doing is taking an action to change our state, right? Our state is in that in that shapes list. And so we're going to take the action to clear that. So if we reload and we, and we try this out, nothing went away. But when I click again, they go away. So now what happened here? Well, this is because we have a bug. I've cleared this G shapes list, but I haven't updated the canvas. When I hit clear, all I'm doing is clearing the list, but I haven't said anything about draw yet. So what do we need to do? We need to add right here. We need to re-render all of our shapes. Now our shapes, all of our shapes right now is a blank list because we just cleared it to blank. And so because our render function knows what to do, it's going to now render a blank screen. So now let's try this out with this new piece of code in here. So now we clear as, as we would expect. Now this is one of these big benefits of organizing our code that we did earlier so that we have a render all shapes function. Render knows how to get the canvas drawn. Whenever we need to take some action and we need to do a redraw, we just call that function and we don't have to worry about what's going on inside of it. So here I cleared my list and I just call the function. I'm all done.